Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your eye droid to see where this is.
defend the transporter until the reactivation process is complete. Activate the wormhole transporter and expand the area you can search. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your iDroid to see where this is.
should rest before you're out of gas.
With the transporter reactivated, you can now move more quickly and safely. Should you discover other transporters during your searches, I recommend reactivating them as well. The teleportation of matter. Who would have thought this kind of technology exists? But now that I've seen this, I know I'm right. Right about what? How a group like the Charon Corps, who with this advanced, got wiped out. It wasn't wanderers. It was people. But whether it was some kind of internal conflict or an outside force, I don't know. That is illogical. As we discussed before, in an environment such as Dite's, there can be no advantage to humans working against one another. After all, you and the Captain were technically members of opposing forces, yet here you are, working together. Yeah, well, people don't always do the smart thing. And I make no promises I won't shoot the Captain in the back if I have to. Look, you just watch out. If we do come across survivors here, do not let your guard down. The same goes with me. Object form analyzed. It's a military helicopter. Control has been lost. At this rate, it will crash. I've marked the presumed crash site on the map. You might come across some supplies or even survivors. Why don't you go take a look? Captain, go and investigate the helicopter crash site. Wait, I'm against that. Say we're going to scavenge supplies. We should scope it out for a while before moving in, right? Your proposal is extremely illogical. Taking into account crash trajectory, fuselage damage level, and other factors, the chances of survival currently stand at approximately 11.2%. This will decrease by 3% every hour. The sooner we check for survivors, the better. Survivors are the problem. You feel like having this conversation again? But securing personnel will be essential to completing the mission. Well, I guess that's that. You're the captain. It's your call. I have updated the situation report. It's not that you don't raise a valid point, Mr. Reeve, but this is part of the mission. You should go and investigate the crash site.
form detected at helicopter crash site. I've also identified multiple wanderers. Approach with caution. I've marked the predicted location. Take a look at the map.
Life form detected at helicopter crash site. I've also identified multiple wanderers. Approach with caution.
Thank you. That helped. What's your name? Miranda. Oh. Yeah. I remember. It was just like any other night. I was out on a call with the doctor when we lost contact with the hospital. We drove back as fast as we could, but the hospital was on fire. And if that wasn't hard enough to believe, a moment later, there was a light in the sky. It sucked our ambulance into it with us in it. Somehow, we survived, but then the doctor started acting strangely. <laughs> Saying it out loud, it all sounds so ridiculous. Like any of that actually happened, right? No, what you experienced actually happened. I saw the same thing in the sky. And I was here, just like you. Where is here? They call it Dite. To put it simply, it's a world in another dimension. A world destroyed by some unknown parasite. Wait, unknown parasite? So when the doctor looked different and attacked me after we got here... Yeah. We call humans that get infected by it wanderers. And there's no cure? Apparently not. Once you end up like that, you're just a living corpse. Only thing you can do for him is kill him. That goes for your friends, too. You're sure about that? You guys don't look like doctors to me. Maybe a team of specialists could... If anyone could have done something about this, this place would still be standing, wouldn't it? Maybe they just lack certain advances in medicine. And like you said, they're still living. Perhaps if we try to communicate with them, with a little persistence, we can get through to them. Look, your ridiculous theories are an insult to every one of them we've had to put down. Trying to take some moral high ground will do jack squat for you here. If you want to stay alive, keep quiet and do what we tell you. Without morals, we're no different from them. Take off your shirt. What? You're injured, aren't you? Your breathing is off. You might have a fractured rib. I should take a look at you. What are you waiting for? If you want to stay alive, keep quiet and do what I tell you.
make effective use of our labor source, you should assign crew members to units. Come and assign crew members here. Assigning crew members to units will ensure base camp runs more smoothly. Assign crew members as the situation warrants. Captain, there is one item to report. When we scanned the area around the location where you rescued that woman, we detected a new memory board. We've added this information to the situation report. Thank you. 
my database for that individual. His name was Ernest B. Aspinwall. The psychiatric evaluation he underwent when joining the Corps describes him as mild-mannered and rational, prefers to avoid confrontation with others,